returning. Hmm. Sometimes these level names make no sense. Okay. And this, I guess this one, in case it does, how do I return? But that's been a pretty common theme for me with this game. Hmm. So like, here's an idea that would really show if you explored these mechanics. In order to get the water, you have to have the one of the purple teleports in the water, right? How crazy would it be if you that was a challenge that you were presented with? Where you had to somehow figure out how to get that purple water out, or just that the, the solution to the puzzle was to do something with that purple water, with the purple teleport in the water. Because right now, the way I've been taught to interpret this game is that there's, I, I can ignore that. That purple teleports in the water just so that there can be this issue of water coming out, which would be a cool puzzle to lead the player down the road of then being confronted with the ultimate challenge of how do you solve the puzzle if the only thing you can do is do something with that purple teleport in the water? It's, it's like your like a truly amazing puzzle is one in which you lead the player down a road along which the player starts developing these assumptions, these realities, these rules. And so in that process, they're kind of like, well, there's no way I can get a teleporter out of the water. And then you, bam, throw a uh, puzzle at them where the only way forward is to get a teleporter out of the water. So then they're stuck with like, what? But then, in order to do that, it has to be possible, obviously. So, the, they have to have in some part of their brain a mental toolbox in which they can make sense of a potential uh, path that would allow that to happen. So I think in that part, that's, that's basically first from the, from the dev's perspective. The dev has to um, come up with a robust, robust and, and complex enough mechanic, explore it deep enough that that where that could be a possibility, and then slowly teach the player all the all the necessary um, components that would allow that to happen. Never make it explicit how, obviously, and then bam, give the player the challenge. But I've definitely experienced, and this, I'm thinking of games like Beans and Nothingness, or Bean and Nothingness, where that happens a lot. And it's like the ultimate sign of one difficulty in a puzzle game. But then two, and then two, good design. And then three, obviously the whole purpose ultimate satisfaction so you can actually make you can make the objective claim that the satisfaction you feel playing games like being and nothingness is categorically better objectively better than say other games possibly this one so far this one but then we're just we're basically like talking about puzzle games like how some people talk about uh, um, bread. It's like, yeah, there's there's just bread, which is good. Puzzle games are good, and then there's just like insanely good bread. But still, it's bread. You know, it's good. 
There's probably a better word I could have used to describe that because I don't think a lot of people love bread like I do. Okay, so back to this. Um, I've got to get back. How am I going to get back? Can't use a teleport. Dead. That doesn't work either. Hmm. So I have to do something beforehand. something in front of that purple teleport thing in the water. Hmm. Also here we, we may have a pretty good puzzle on our hands. Because nothing is... I have. I don't know what else I could do from the point. Can't do this. like what I said would mean more if I just crushed this puzzle yeah this game is interesting feels like it's almost a really good puzzler because there are some thinkers but then there's just suddenly just I don't know puzzles where it's just like what I wonder if it's because there is no difficulty grading. Basically, they're not explicitly saying these are more tutorial-like or these are easy ones. And so the brain is just not used to that open world -iness. What's up with this? What is this here?
There's one. Can I put that? Can I somehow get that guy down here? Oh, there we go. Who? Who? Oh, there we go. Now it's blocked. Huh, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> 